¿Cómo está? Well, it's the warmest day of the spring so far. About 63 in the shade. Probably feels in the 70s. The sun here. Okay. A little half day hike here. Looking for some antler today. We'll see how I do. Uh, going into a spot I've already hit once this year and saw a ton of bulls still carrying. So I'm hoping most of them have dropped and I can get into them. At least find a few to hike back this evening. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Well, this is the first shed I found today, and it is pretty chalky. There's a lot of brush out here, as you can see. So, there could be a lot of sheds, but it's just tough to, tough to find them once you walk right up on them. Well, I've been glassing a while. Right in the area, I saw those bulls in this brush several weeks ago, but can't find any so either they shed somewhere else or somebody else may have been through but gotta continue the search Whew. well kept getting deeper and deeper didn't have much luck so I'm just gonna keep walking ridge after ridge I've got plenty of daylight still lots of water and sure enough check this out walked up on this baby it's got a broken g1 but it is a six by pretty heavy base there Left side, nice one. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Man, look at that split! Very nice, sweet. So, this is big enough. The other side may be lying around here somewhere close. So, let's put this one here by the pack. And do a little gridding out of this section, see if we can turn up the other side. That's amazing. Sometimes you find both antlers side by side or within 20 to 40 yards of each other. And then others you just never find. They can carry them for half a mile or a mile or more for the drop. And you always expect the bigger ones to be close. Usually they try to knock them off soon, but you just never know. So I may just have to put this single on the pack and continue on the way. Maybe I'll get lucky and come across the other side later or just find some other ones. But I think I've uh, done enough circles here to call it and start moving on. Well, four and a half hours and a little over eight miles and only one antler. It's a pretty good one, but it's not a good ratio, but better than coming back blank. I still have not cracked the code to this place, so I see a lot of a lot of bulls running around each year here, and I just do not know where they all drop. I always find enough to keep me coming back, but if I can only crack the code to figure out where most of them drop, I'd be coming back with packfuls instead of singles. So anyway, it's another another uh journey for another time so once again thanks for watching i'm gonna go get some lotion on my face is red